Hello, are you out there? This is Mark with HFD, and I've got Creepy Player keep complaining on how I run the game. Keeps complaining? This is coming from Electrical Finger, who gave me the okay to read their horror story. Uh, it, and I am less shaggy. Yeah, this isn't like a, a nine-month-old video. This is a current video. I just did the whole trim up thing because my wife was really complaining a lot. So, I am DMing for a small group of two players. We are running a homebrew campaign for fun. However, we have one player who always throws creepy remarks and disturbing jokes. And you don't like that. Ah, uh, yes. Needless to say, that is actually uh, annoys me to no end. In fact, we always ask him to stop doing this as it is really cringy and annoying. Yet he keeps getting worse and worse. Well, that is a problem. If, if you and the other players are expressing, hey, could you knock it off? We Like, we're not amused, we're not entertained, then yeah. I mean, listen, humor runs to all sorts of tastes and how people like to role play if they want to be zany, edgy, you, you know, romantic, whatever. But if something's causing a problem at the table, you talk about it and hopefully a person will change. If not, then you, you may have to ask them to leave or they may need to decide to go their own way, obviously. Okay. To paint a f you a full picture, we didn't start the campaign with only two players in the DM, but we were initially four players. Ouch. Eventually, two of the players dropped from the campaign. I can't say for sure if he was the cause of this, but his behavior is not helping his case. I would be very curious as to... Well, if it's been enough time, I would recommend you, you reach out to these two players that left and just say, Hey, <laughs> was problem player behavior something that contributed to you leaving that's worth knowing because it could affect what you do now dealing with with what you're going to do with problem player at this point uh, i will not tell you the story of every disturbing behavior he did otherwise this post will turn into a book but recently i had enough of his attitude so let me tell you the story of the needle that broke the camel's back to be honest i should have banned him from the group far sooner. In fact, on his first session, he made a pervert priest for a character who kept sexually harassing every female NPC and insulting every male NPC. So a highly dislikable character. Okay. Always bear in mind as a player, your character has to provide enough to the group, uh, the, the party, the party, you know, the character party, that would make them want to keep them around. If they're dangerous, if they're just a total a-hole, um, if they're always stealing from the party or making choices that are going to lead to a TPK, the other characters would just be like, you're a danger to us. We aren't going to adventure with you. So you, you absolutely, as a player, have to have a character that, that the rest of the party will tolerate. Okay. Um... This extended to the player characters as well, which literally forced me to make a session just to explain to him why his behavior was unacceptable. Are you serious? That should be something handled between sessions. Anytime you have to correct or re request a change of behavior from a player or a player to a DM. Should happen you know, off the clock, so to say. Okay. Which was very awkward for me since he's about two years older than me. I am genuinely surprised I had to explain this to someone at all. He did apologize and promise not to do it again, so I allowed him to come back. Big mistake. Ouch. Listen, it's not a bad thing you, you let him come back because you should always give people a second chance, right? I mean, we all make mistakes. It, ultimately, I understand if you realize it was a big mistake because he didn't make the changes that you requested, but uh, that's tough. That is tough. The final straw happened on our last session. It was over Discord, by the way. Before we could start, I had to excuse myself to the toilet. Upon hearing this, he immediately bet the other players I was going to m masturbate. Oh my god. Oh. I, you don't specify, but are you a, perhaps of the female persuasion? A female? <laughs> that is ugly. Holy cows, that is, I mean, guy or girl, that's just like gross. Oh my lord, that's not funny in the slightest. And once I came back, he started to make ape, ape jokes, ape jokes, and laughing alone to them. <laughs> I still can't believe that he was so out of touch, he didn't realize that we weren't laughing 
and rather we were disturbed by his jokes. Oh my gosh. I... Okay. That is, that is really rough. That's extremely coarse behavior. I could see if, if, if that... <laughs> I don't want to say that alone would have nixed it, but if that was the... If that was after you had already said, hey, enough with the, the, the shenanigans, and this was like round two, yeah, I would have been like, you're done, man. You're This is done. Can you boot someone from Discord, right? You can like block them on the server. Whew. Okay. And guess what happened when we asked him to stop? Of course, he got worse. He even had the audacity to say, annoying you guys brings me joy. It got so bad, I had to mute him. I'm glad you had that option. You should have booted him, though, at that point. If someone's deliberately being antagonistic and trying to derail the play session, like, you've set aside hours to play the game on a given date. You're all there. You're doing it together, and one person's just... Yeah, you're way better off just nixing the person. Just mute them, block them, ban them, whatever, and just keep going, like, just a speed bump. You can deal with the fallout later. Holy cows. That is rough. Okay, got so bad I had to mute him until he stopped. After about 30 minutes of wasted time, yep, it really took that long before we could start. He started to demand that I give him magical items by complaining that the other player got more magical items than him, which is not true, of course. I put him down by saying I'll give him the magical items on the next session. I was planning on doing that anyway. Okay, the game starts and suddenly he goes silent. He wasn't interacting with any NPCs and simply he was absent-minded during the game. This continues until we had a battle with some elementals. The battle itself took place on a frozen lake. And he wanted to use the spell Control Water to attack the enemies with it. He even said smugly, How do you feel that I destroyed your encounter with one spell? Before I can say anything... <laughs> This guy sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> They're just like, control water, game over, we win. And you're like, um, yeah, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that just sucks. Oh God, this person sounds horrible. Are you guys kids? Are you young? You sound like you guys are young. I'm not saying an adult can't have this kind of behavior, but holy crud. <laughs> and, why, and why would that be fun? You got to think about this. A player who's like, oh, I'm just going to derail this scenario with a spell uh, as though it's problem solving. They want to be rewarded. They think that that's good role play. Is it a creative use? Only if the DM lets the lets it work out as being a creative solution. If the DM doesn't say that it works, because listen, you can't just create and destroy water uh, inside of a, a creature's body. That doesn't work. That's specifically not what the, the spell's about. You can't control and puppeteer them like you're a bloodbender. That's not what's going on. Okay. I, however, rule against this since I felt that the spell wasn't designed to do that. All hell went loose when I said that. He kept trying to rules lawyer himself <laughs> rules lawyering you by claiming that the spell should take control of anything made of water but, but it, what are we talking about water elementals or ice ice is water but it, it's ice it's frozen water so it's in a different state i could see it's not fluid you can't just mold it and shape it i can see that you could rule that you could move ice but a dm could also rule that you cannot control ice as though it's liquid water but that's up to the dm to decide 100 percent I kept standing my ground, especially that I know that if I allowed it, it would ruin the fun of the game for my other player. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got an adventure set up. His idea is not that creative. It's just like, oh, wait, I have a spell on in my list here that says control water. I win. And you're like, uh, yeah, nah, bro. No, you also got a spell on there that says fireball, but that doesn't just let you win a fight. Right? <laughs> so... Okay. Afterwards, he tried to convince me that he should be able to extract the still yet to be frozen water from under the frozen layer. We well, might be able to control it, but there's a 
barrier of ice, however thick it is, unless he has a way to get that ice up above that water above the ice, that doesn't that doesn't give him anything. Which again, I objected to. The argument became so heated that I ended up telling him, "Stop this! Don't force me to be a dick." To which he answered, "You are being a dick right now." I repeated myself one last time before he stopped arguing with me. For the remainder of the encounter, he stopped talking altogether, except for telling me his roles in which spell spells he used. Once we were done with the session, he immediately logged off rudely without saying a word. I had to consult with the other player to know what he feels about the situation, and luckily for my sanity, he agreed with me on my stance about problem player's behavior, his behavior. Um, you know, I think when we're younger role players, we've... I only say that as an older role player. I think all of us older role players out there can remember back when we were new to role playing or we were young or, you know, whatever. And something doesn't go your way. Something that you as a player you think makes sense should work and the DM rules against it and you get heated and you're like, well, that's just, it doesn't make sense. You're not seeing it the right way. It should work this way. <laughs> and it, it kind of can ruin a session or it can put a bad, you know, a, a bad light on a session. It's only later as you take time to meditate on it, realize, whoa, you know, it's like the DM's making calls, improvising, doing a lot of work. You just got to roll with it. And a lot of times the DM has ideas of like where a scenario or an entire adventure session should go. They can't just let you derail something just because. I mean, some things they might let your creative thinking and problem solving give you advantages on. But it's not like a snap of the finger by fiat. You just absolutely win. So it takes experience to get to that place as a player and just go, oh, oh, okay, that's your ruling. All right, no problem. I, th I thought I'd throw it out there. And, you're, and the DM's like, yeah, no, it's a good idea. But it, it, it's not going to do what you think it's going to do in this. And you're like, and then you, the player, and the DM high five. And you're like, hey, that's, how, that's what we're doing here. We're telling a story together. And when you're both okay with it, that's when you're mature role players. And people that aren't at that level, whether the DM or the players, are immature role players. You just don't get it. You're trying to, to win or you think it should be a certain way or you think that the rules in all these books are just it, it absolutely raw and that's all that there is. And how could you not do exactly what the text says? And it's just like, yeah, man, it's, it's a fantasy world. It's, it's magic. All sorts of crazy shit's happening. Don't sweat it. Let's just, let's just keep going. So I only say that because... With any luck, this player will mature in the coming years, learn from their mistakes, and learn to just have fun and roll with it, and that everyone's just doing their best, and, and, and there's no winning at it. Okay. Okay. I still stand by my, by my ruling, and I don't regret it at all. I am only posting this here to blow off a bit of steam because I can't stop thinking about it. Ouch. I hope this gives you catharsis. Obviously, it can be frustrated frustrating you're questioning yourself you're questioning what happened what should i have done different what could i have done better i, I think that happens to all of us so I, I don't fault you at all we we all replay the past but ultimately i would just say wash it away let it go be forgiving I, i'm not saying you have to invite this character this player back not by any stretch i'm just saying just say you know what they're going through their own stuff they're going to learn from their mistakes. I really hope they become a great role player and just mellow out a bit. Wish them the best, but don't take it personally. Go find one of the hundreds of thousands, the millions of other people that are good, chill, mature role players that want a game with you. They're out there. Just go find them. Don't even give another thought to that person except for just saying, hey, you know what? Hope it works out for you in the end, my guy. Take care. But but we're done. I, this ain't working out for us. So sorry. Good luck to you, though. Go your way, block them on Discord. Absolutely. You, you already said this is like all online. Block them. Why? Why would you do that? You give a brief explanation saying, hey, sorry this didn't work out. I wish you best of luck. I'm going to take the game my own way. You're disinvited, but I wish you well. Block. Because based off of the, the attitude this, this player is demonstrating, they're going to come back at you and they're going to attack you personally. Not to get to play again, but to hurt you, to antagonize you, to make fun of you, to make themselves feel better, don't don't subject yourself to that. You will get nothing out of it. Guaranteed, I guarantee you, you will get nothing but heartache out of that. Block them, be done, never look back. Yes.
It's not to be mean to them. It's to be good to you. It's to take care of yourself, your own mental health, your own heart. Okay? Whew. We were nice to him enough to ignore his shenanigans for far too long, and yet he kept getting worse, and he never showed any appreciation to me nor any of the other players. In fact, he was always rude selfish when interacting with everyone. In fact, the only reason I was nice to him is because I am aware he's struggling with depression. Yeah, that and some other borderline personality things, but hopefully he can get better from that stuff. But that's not your job to do. That's, that's his job, his family, potentially his, you know, his therapist or doctors, whoever is working through that with him. It's not your job, okay? But it is no excuse for his conduct. To conclude, I agreed with my other player that we will not let him back even if he apologized. Don't let him apologize. Block him. For real, start doing an interview process. Find another couple players to add. You probably want to get that group back up to three or four players. He's playing with one or two people. It's a little limiting. But good luck to you. Thank you for sharing the story. That was a really good one. Um, I, I really appreciate it. Take care.